On one foot. Catch. <laughs> 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 Today I'm visiting my osteopath Stephen Haynes at the Active Therapy Clinic in Sirencester. I see him roughly once a month and I find this is a really good way for me to get a decent checkup, work on any niggles that might surface during my training and just make sure I'm in really really good condition, especially going towards these races that I want to be targeting later this season. You're basically walking around as if you've got your fists clenched, yeah, yeah. your pecs. So come and lay on your stomach, so you're going to roll your shoulders up squeeze together here and imagine you're in the water um, trying to be like a submarine dart okay what you're doing is that's just getting these rhomboid muscles engaged the pecs there have to release as a result constantly checking in with yourself and balancing yourself yeah. because we you've driven here it's yeah. taken what hour and a half hour and a bit yeah you've yeah. been you know, in this position, in this position frustrated as people sat, driving 40 or 60. <laughs> <laughs> so what that's done is those muscles then just yeah. go around. Yeah. So we've just got to get them to be able to open up again. Because okay. otherwise what happens is you go into this implosion. Yeah. I mean, I even feel more, literally just from yeah. that, like, yeah. And that, that's the thing, your body w responds quickly because it's intelligent. Yeah. There, that's implosion. Yeah. Here is explosion. Okay. And that's where we want to be at. <laughs> Never good at hand, though. Can you tell? You're better on the bike. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Swap legs. <laughs> so here, what we're doing is we're just challenging your base of support. Yeah. <laughs> you had to catch that one because of the camera. <laughs> good. When I'm running, if I feel like I'm almost out of control, my my body it starts to go there. Yeah. yeah, instead of like that, I'm, yeah. I'm there. Which remember when we were saying about when you're running, just yeah. try yeah, and just try pull, pull that pull pubic forward. bone forward so you're yeah. pulling there yeah. to lengthen here. That puts sure. explosion in that part. Okay. Yeah. Rather than this bit is going to be implosion. Yeah, and when I do that, oh, there's just so much tightness in here. And, and when you do that, that vertebra is, yeah. is that where I think there's a spondy yeah. is going to slide forward. Right, okay. Because okay. that 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 put that motion is now yeah. like a, That's a, a ski slope. Yeah, it's horrible. Yeah. yeah. So you, you are not comfortable in that position yet. So that's what we're trying to create. Okay. Ready? Cool. Same way you sat. You're sat here. Yeah. Can you feel you're collapsing? Yeah. You're collapsing. That's where you want to be. Yeah. That's sitting into your bones. Yeah. No, the bones have ligaments. So that's going to be stretching some ligaments there. Okay. And you're not using the muscles. Yeah. Now, I don't like that, so okay. I'm, I'm not a big fan of massive lumbar supports that force you into that position. I used to have one in my car, and I fucking hated it. Yeah, because it it, yeah. it's going to force you into a position you don't want to go. Yeah, it's not a natural position. Yeah, what you want to do is actually have something. There is something coming out where where you have it here. Yeah. So you lean into it, okay. and if you lean into it here, yeah. so lean into my hands. Can you feel your back stay stable? Yeah. Which is what I want. So this nice stability, and that's where your focus needs to be from. Yeah, it feels like I've got a straight back. Yeah. It's good, yeah. But the natural tendency, gravity is pushing down, yeah, so just, we just, just want to go that. here. Yeah. And then this, yeah. 90 minutes training that position yeah. coming here, has that effect. I do, like, when I'm editing videos, I'm like, oh, i just got to check my posture because I can see myself, like, sinking into it. Yeah. Now, don't let me push oh. your legs together. One, two, three. Good. Up there, don't let me push down. Good. Don't let me swing towards me. Okay. One, two, three. Beautiful. Don't let me pull out. Don't bend the elbow. Nice. Don't let me push. Good. You're much, you're much stronger. You've, you've got that whole core section here yeah. much more contained. Yeah. I'm going to shock in there again. Oh okay. no. <laughs> Just for the camera. <laughs> right, you ready? No. Now, if you've ever had shockwave therapy done, you will know how disgusting it is. However, if you've never had it done, I can assure you it's one of the most painful things ever. So, if anyone ever offers it to you, just run. Plain and simple. Get out of the situation as quick as you can. Cool. Awesome. Good job, Harry. You're doing really well, Thanks mate. so much. 
really successful visit uh, to the active therapy clinic with Stephen Haynes. Yeah, that guy, really love seeing that guy. He says it how it is. He's really helped me out massively. He's given me some great exercises to go away with and I'm consistently seeing progression. So yeah, it was awesome. Um, did some good work on me. Did some oh, shockwave therapy on my feet, which honestly is the most uncomfortable thing ever. I hate it, but it does help out. <laughs> so clearly, Stephen's happy with my progression, which is great. I'm going to see him again before I fly out to Lanzarote on the 3rd of October. Um, <clears throat> but clearly, this shows that the stuff that I'm doing at home and the stuff that I'm doing with Tom Crudgington at Body Development is helping so much which is why like I'm so happy at the minute because everything seems to be falling into place and I'm surrounding myself with the correct people you know and and everyone around me is helping me out towards my goals and and really just pursuing pursuing this pro triathlon stuff as, as giving it the best shot I possibly can like I said in my last video putting my heart and soul into everything you know I've got my coach Mark Threlfall I've got my strength coach Tom Crudgington I've got my nutritionist Alan Mutchinson performance chef and I've got my osteopath Stephen Haynes I've got four people around me in my team all helping me out all doing different jobs but ultimately towards the same goal which is getting me to that just to a level that I've never been to before, leaving no stone unturned. And this is what I'm so excited about because I've never been in this position before where I've surrounded myself with everyone who is going to be helping me out so much with everything that I'm doing. And literally, there's there's nothing else that I can do. And even if the pro stuff doesn't go well next season, let's say, right? At least I know within myself, I gave it everything I possibly could because with everything in life, I never want to have that. What if? What if I tried a bit harder? What if I got this? What if I got this person involved? What if I got that person involved? What if I did this? There's no what ifs with me. Like now is the moment that I'm going to bust my absolute balls in training. I'm going to give everything I can with regards to this diet, with regards to the osteopath, the strength work, all the coaching, the training, everything. I'm going to leave no stone unturned so that next year I can be like, yeah, this is the reason why things are going well, because I did this. Or let's say, for example, if things don't go well, you know, I, I, I can leave, I, I can be happy that I left no stone unturned and I did everything I possibly could. And that's what I'm doing at the minute. And I'm really, really kind of happy that people are getting on board and supporting me. I do just want to mention that I have set up a Patreon for the YouTube channel um, and all the information with regards to that is at the end of the last video. I'll link that in the cards above just to give you guys more of a reason to why I've started a Patreon. But ultimately it's to give everyone the option of further supporting towards everything that I'm doing. But I did talk more about it in the last video. So please do go and check that out. One, two, three, in the one. Post osteopath appointment, I went on a chilled 90 minute bike ride. And now it's time to visit Tom Crudgington at Body Development for my strength session. Things are going really well during these strength sessions and we're managing to progress things relatively quickly and I'm really starting to see the improvements and really enjoying the progress that I'm making with him. Good row. Good stand back up. Single kettlebell down to one foot. Back up. Good lad. And then the other. Good, that's one. One, two, back up. And again, keeping a bit of tension on there and back up. Two. Two. Good. Good. Yes, exactly. Got it now? Tuck, hold. One, two, three, four, five, six. Just stay there. I'm going to come the other side of you now. Good. Gently tuck. Hold. One, two, three, four, five, six. And walk back on this. I want you to move quite slowly up yeah. onto the brick, up onto the brick. Ready? Okay. Gently off you go. Up. Up. Down. Down. Good. That's one of the. Um, uh, core exercises we give to our seniors are over 65, so okay. <laughs> makes me feel good. <laughs> good, and again. So seeing both Stephen and Tom yesterday was really, really good. 
just a bit of a check update really, getting checked out by Stephen um, and making sure that I'm progressing well with Tom. It's really good, it's confidence inducing, it's meaning that I'm going in the right direction, I'm doing everything right. So yeah, things are going well, which is really nice to see. Tom Deers do quite a big section on nutrition and I haven't included it in this video because otherwise it would have made this video like 25 minutes long and you guys don't want to watch a 25 minute video. <laughs> so what I'm going to do instead of me cutting specific bits and putting it in this video, which I didn't think would really make sense because I feel like you need to follow the whole thing. I'm actually going to just post that whole video tomorrow. So keep your eyes peeled tomorrow. If you're really interested in nutrition and what Tom's take on nutrition is and how to make sure that you're getting the most out of it and how to track things properly and basically just his approach to things, then keep an eye out for tomorrow's video because that's pretty much what tomorrow's video is going to be. This Sunday though, I'm really excited because I've kept it a bit quiet, um, but I'm going to talk about it now. I'm going to London to watch the Super League Triathlon, which I am so, so looking forward to. It's going to be mad. So if anyone's there, comment in the comment section below and we could hook up or just say hi or whatever it is. Uh, it'd be really nice to meet people if they're going and it should be a really cool day. So it's something completely different. I've never gone to watch one of these before. It'll be really exciting and yeah, it's all good. Hope you're all well. Hope you enjoyed that video and I will see you in the next one.